Hi everyone, this is Paul Schmutzler. Today I'm going to introduce you to a brand new set of After Effects plugins from Red Giant, their VFX Suite. So on the right panel, you can see all of the effects that come with the suite. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory, and some will be familiar to those that have used other Red Giant plugins. But some of these tools are entirely new, built from the ground up just for this suite. So let's start with the shot that I have on my screen. In the background, there's a fairly uniform blue wall, which will make a nice test shot for the Primat Keyer effect. The tool is very intuitive. It's got simple icons that also include descriptions when you roll your mouse over them. You can choose to either select and refine your key color with these tools, or you can try your luck with the Auto Define Key button, which looks for a blue or a green background to key out automatically. As you can see, the Auto button did a really good job for knocking out the background very cleanly and revealing the video layer that I have underneath the clip. It's a little noisy, but it's a good starting point that can be cleaned up by refining the key with some of the other tools within this effect. Now, let's take a look at this second shot. It's a static shot with the only motion being the waving flags and a changing traffic light in the scene. The first effect I tried on this clip is the Spot Clone Tracker. You can use it in a number of ways, but I tried two different tests. I cloned the yellow traffic light on the side of the building. Maybe that's a little odd, so I tried something a bit more realistic. I selected the effect and dragged the blue circle over the logo of the building. Now the logo is cloned onto the side of the building. This works a bit better since the brown of the sign blends in better with the brick of the building. Two things to know about this plugin. Number one, the dashed line represents your feathering. So you can see how far out your clone area is including by looking at the size of your dashed line. The second thing is the dot on the edge of the circle. If you click and drag this circle, it will rotate the cloned object. So you can see how it turns the logo onto its side as I rotate the blue circle. Having these controls on screen in a visual format is much more productive than having to dig through all the sliders and menus to determine what makes the adjustment you're looking for. Of course, this effect is called the Spot Clone Tracker, therefore it can also track within your shot. Simply use the tracking buttons within the effect to make it follow your subject within the shot. The next effect that I used on this clip is Reflection. I didn't know the best way to use Reflection within the context of this clip, so I kind of went uh, Lynch style with it and just made something that would be somewhat disturbing and just kind of odd. So I superimposed this angled, distorted reflection onto the original shot and animated it across the screen. And there are many different parameters within this effect that allow you to tailor it to your shot. Finally, let's look at one of the biggest effects within the VFX suite, Super Comp. Red Giant graciously provided a comp and some media to work with Super Comp. Opening up the Super Comp panel, you'll find it familiar if you're used to other Red Giant plugins. It shares similarities in font, colors, and general design scheme. Super Comp is just that, a composition tool to streamline combining multiple elements into one final shot. In this case, we're using all these different elements to make this giant robot look really cool and hopefully very realistic. Let's look at the layers. First, there's the robot's sword. It has two effects on it layer glow and optical glow. I chose a purple color and again noticed that the color wheels in SuperComp are very similar to Colorista, another Red Giant effect. For the fire layer, I added a heat blur. This doesn't look like much here, but in the final comp, it makes the objects behind the fire distorted, as if you were looking through some really intense heat. With the eyes, I just added some glow to draw them out. They're so tiny in the shot, and I wanted them to be more dynamic and attention-getting. For the robot, I added quite a few effects. I added light wrap, reverse light wrap, volume fog, and diffusion. With all of these combined, the robot should look much more convincing in the real-world environment that he's supposed to inhabit. Light wrap is similar to a rim light that you would see in a backlit situation. And the volume fog adds some mystery by allowing the light behind him in the shot to create rays as if he were really there in the scene. Finally, I added some blur to the mist and a purplish hue to the background plate for an unearthly palette. With all these effects in place, the final product looks like this. And that's a quick overview of what's new in the VFX suite from Red Giant.